Today is Mental Health Action Day. It's part of a month long effort to raise awareness about our mental health, which is very important. This morning, we're talking about self medicating. The National Institutes of Health say nearly 8 million people struggle with co occurring substance use and mental health disorders. Joining our conversation this morning is Steve Carlton, the executive clinical director at Gallus Medical Detox Centers. Steve, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us again. I really do appreciate it. You know, one thing that we easily want to talk about is dual diagnosis and what is it exactly? Dual diagnosis uh, is characterized when people have a substance use disorder and a mental health disorder that are happening at the same time is the, is the most classic example of that. Talk about some of the trauma that may come along with that. Well, Trauma makes up the, the vast majority of mental health struggles, yeah. and I think that's really important for people to understand. Things like depression and, and anxiety, those, those are symptoms of trauma. And so the vast majority of people with substance use disorder, 70%, have experienced a significant trauma. Now, talk to me a little bit about why it's so important to be able to treat both of these at the same time. You have to treat them simultaneously. That, that's really critical because if you treat one and it gets better, the other one could get worse, right? And so often with, with anxiety, depression, trauma, people are self-medicating, right? They're, they're, do, they're trying to do their best just to cope with life and, and, and deal with things. And so using substances is the most common way people do that. Now we know oftentimes substance use disorder can be described as loud. Um, mental health issues can be more so described as silent. What do these two technically mean? Great question. So with with mental health, oftentimes it's such a sh subtle change, mm -hmm. right? If people are struggling with depression, it happens so gradually over time. People are staying in bed longer. They're getting to work a little bit later. They're, they're not eating as, as, as healthy as they have in the past. With substance use disorder, when those start to get out of control, it can be an abrupt change, yeah. right? People go overnight from functioning really well to, to behaviors that they normally have not engaged in. Yeah. Right? And those behaviors, um, are very apparent to people because unfortunately they, they can harm your loved ones. Especially if you're remaining self-aware of how you are doing, this is something that you'll be able to tell. We have one final question that I wanna be able to get to. I know that you teach about dual diagnosis at DU, but I also wanna be able to talk about where people can go for help for those who may be watching and experiencing something. Absolutely, I'll, yeah, I'll answer the, the first question or, or the second question first, that uh, psychology today is a great tool. Um, if, you, if you're struggling with, with mental health, that's a great way to, to get connected to somebody that can help you with that. And with substance use, obviously, if, if you're struggling with substance use and withdrawals, Gallus is a great place to talk to. And in, in the class that I teach, the most important takeaway lesson there is that you have to meet people where they're at. And overarching, the purpose of that class is to help students understand, find out what the patient wants to start with. Where do they want to start? Yeah. Thank you so much, Steve. I really appreciate it. Very helpful advice, especially as we continue to focus on this conversation of mental health awareness.